Welcome back to lesson two of the VR chat tutorial series. Today, I'm going to show you how to create a custom profile picture, and it's very super simple. Let's start. First, let's go ahead and take a screenshot of this avatar. Go to UI elements, turn HUD off. That way we don't have the cursor or the microphone icon showing. Next, I'm going to do a facial expression. How about this one? And I'm going to take a screenshot. On Windows, you can use this shortcut to create a screenshot. Windows key on the bottom left of your keyboard, then hold it down and hold shift down as well. Then hold S for three little buttons down. And then this will pop right up. And then I can select this entire thing and create a screenshot and done. Now I can press start to exit out of that menu. And then I can start up paint 3D. Press paste and it'll paste the thing that you just took a screenshot of. She's right here. And then maybe I'll add some text in a big font. Let's write comfy channel and let's bold it up and we do a print font. Probably a bit bigger, huh? All right, this is big enough. Comfy channel, put it right above right here. Let's make it white. That's why not. That way it has a better contrast. And then there, and we can save this. Menu, save as, image, save it to the desktop, call it um, Gumi new profile pick, and then exit out of here. No, we don't want to save, you already saved it. You can alt tab out of this, and then minimize it. Now you can see we just saved it to our desktop right here. Now let's go ahead and import it. Drag it down and let's put it in the Lime Gumi folder. Now press on this and want to change the texture type. Change it from default to a sprite 2D and UI. And this is under inspector right after you click the picture you imported. And then you want to click apply. After you click apply, you can drag it into the space. So let's drag it right in. This is huge maybe a bit too big. To change it, you can actually change the scale down. Let's change it to 0 0.5, 0 0.5, and 0 0.5. That way, it's not overly big. So it looks like it's mirrored in the wrong direction. So you can actually rotate it. So I think change the Y around. X, nope, not the y, X, maybe the Y, yep. And now it's in the right orientation. Okay, so how do we get this to show when we see our avatar? Go to VRChat SDK, show control panel, and publish avatar like you usually would. Go to Builder and publish, build and publish for Windows once again. Give it a second to load, of course. And now it's finished loading. And we're back to this familiar screen. And now instead of new avatar, it says update avatar because we're updating it. Now remember that camera screen, we want to click on this, click upload image so it replaces the previous image. Now let's go to scene tab and grab this camera once again. Let's zoom out and click on the camera to grab it. Make sure you don't grab the wrong thing by accident. Let's go past her and take a picture of this. Now whatever is in the camera preview is what's going to show up instead. So if you go here, oh, it looks like our comfy channel text was a bit too big. So we'll need to adjust that later. But this is just a tutorial, so I'm just going to ignore that for now and position this like this. All right, go back to the game tab and you can see it actually has a custom profile picture. Check this and then upload. And then give it a few more minutes to complete the update. Alrighty, the update is finally done. It says update complete and launch VR chat. Okay, so press OK and let's go back to VR chat to see if it's updated. So open up VR chat, we already have it open. Press escape, go to avatar if we can select it. And it looks like it updated. And now you have a new profile picture. Well, I hope that was helpful and look forward to the next tutorial series. Have a great day and goodbye now.